All right, here we go. Nice, just vertical wind, headwind. And drive up the middle here, hopefully stay on the fairway. A little underpowered. And it's gonna roll off the fairway, <laughs> of course. The one little notch of uh, rough. Okay, try going to a 9-iron, a little bit of backspin. That might curve a little bit. That almost landed right in the hole. This is not enough mustard to get into the hole for the birdie. Need to respect the dragon scales. Starting out with bar. Okay, let's see. Thank you for the golf collapse. Hey there, Crash. Hope you're having a good day. Thanks for stopping on in. See if I can get onto the fairway over there. That is going to veer way over to the right, which is not going to be in the fairway part of the right. So there's no way I'm going to make it onto the green from here in the heavy rough with that amount of headwind. So I'm going to try to end up just short onto the fairway. Well, thank you for the good luck wishes, Crash. Okay, it's a good location. We have an even stronger wind. So here's going to be a challenge shot. The wind's really going to carry this. Going to need some backspin. Maybe some extra backspin. I'm going to try hitting this full power and hope that it bounces initially on the green. Kind of didn't time that one very well. Alright, the backspin took me off the green. Didn't quite get the distance because of that strong wind. But this is a... Despite looking like I might be able to get there, I'm not sure. Try this. I'm not sure if those arrows are gonna come into play here, so I'm gonna try to put a little bit of forward roll. That's not gonna make it. And I've got this, uh, this is a very horrendous because if I go just a little bit too far to the right, the arrows are not gonna catch this. Thank you for the follow ducking. And this won't go in, but I'm going to try this. Oh, I just had too much power on it. But I had it aimed right. Hitting the bogey. Alright, one over. Extreme crosswind. I'm going to aim over here. I'm going to not put any top spin on this. I know the wind's going to carry it. Should end up in the fairway. Nope, it's just short because I didn't have any top spin. And of course, there's deep rough right next to the fairway. How close is this tree to me? Getting pretty close. I'm checking my aim to make sure that I move to the left that I'm not going to touch this tree. So, deep rough, strong headwind, 
Is the three iron enough? Is the two iron a better choice? It's like a head slash crosswind. I think I'm gonna go two iron. No, rethinking three iron. <laughs> hey there, see small. Thanks for joining in. Let's see if I can land anywhere near the green and not in the sand trap. All right, that was way, way, way shorter than I thought it was gonna be. Now, still in the deep rough. I'm gonna try a little experiment here. Thanks for lurking while wrapping up work. Slow shot with pitching wedge, heavy backspin. Okay, that was like no spin. Got to par. If only I hadn't ended up in the rough. All right, we've got extreme headwind. That seven iron is not gonna make it. Six iron might. Seven miles an hour. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with the six iron. I think this is gonna land a little short. So I'm gonna put some top spin on it. Please get over the water. Probably would have been better to go up another club length. Got double arrows. All right, we got the birdie. Back to even. Okay, we have the Yoshi. We're going to aim towards Yoshi's head. Got extreme headwind. Might go over in just a little bit more. And try to get this as well timed as I can. That's pretty good. Should stay on the fairway. Could have given this some topspin, but I didn't because I was a little worried. Okay, wind has picked up considerably. Green pointing against me. It's nine iron. I think I'm going to give this a 7 iron because of the extreme wind. Thank you, Dr. Mukaz. Thank you for the good luck. Okay, I'm going to aim to the right very slightly. Ringed it in for the birdie. All right. Should be able to go over this creek with only a mild crosswind. So I think top spin is fine here. As long as I time this full power. That was closer than I would have wanted it. And I'm just barely on the fairway. Trees should not be in the way. Slight crosswind. Nine iron.
I'm going to try something that probably is not a good idea, but <laughs> we'll see how this goes. So trying to overhit it and then use some extra backspin. Come on, roll magic. Didn't quite roll the way I wanted it to. So we got extreme cross angle putt here. Not enough mustard. Look at the bar. Okay. Full seven. Slight crosswind. Thank you, audio. Audio Eric. Um, five iron. I think I'm going to try this with no spin. Hopefully it rolls into a good spot. So it bounced off of the beginning of the green. And can I gauge this correctly? Just barely. Another birdie. All right, we have slight headwind. Gonna try to drive over into the fairway over there. Normal shot, no top spin because it uh, tends to roll off the far side of the fairway if I hit pretty strong. That might curve a little bit. Please stay on the fairway. Thank you. All right, I don't think I can make the green with this headwind. It's close. <laughs> I just guy, yeah, thank you for the support. Let's see. Should probably club down here. Try to get to that other fairway. Should get over the water, right? Yes. And now peek at the green. Doesn't look great. I think I'm gonna hit this with no backspin or topspin. The one's going to push it a little bit, but then I hope it's going to roll right into the hole. Just missing it. And it's got some natural backspin from, uh, I guess, the angle of the shot. We got the birdie. Okay, US 9. Get the Stegosaurus green or er, fairways. Might as well hit this with top spin. Nudging to the right ever so slightly because the wind is going to push it a little bit. Hopefully this stays out of those trees. It ended up in the rough. Deep rough. I think I'm gonna hit this with a two iron. Because it's the deep rough and there's that headwind and hopefully this gets over that sand trap. I'm a little worried. 
That's going to be a little short. It's going to be quite short. Probably should have gone for a fast swing and uh, get more power behind this shot. I need to get this out of the bunker. That might be a little strong, but it's going to roll past the bad arrows. Got the bar. Okay, we have this hole, slight, very slight, left to right and tailwind. I'm gonna give this a little top spin because it might bounce on the rough in front of the green. Feels a little underpowered. Please get over that. Didn't quite make it to the green. I am just off it. And I nudge to the left a tiny bit. Hopefully this will roll into the hole. I hadn't aimed over to the left, it might have gone right in. I think the arrows on that green are especially weak. Okay, we have a Klingon bird of prey. Strong tail wind. See if I can get past these trees. I'm a little worried about that one tree right at the near out of bounds right edge in the sweet spot right into the bridge so still strong tailwind what does the green look like Gonna roll away. So I'm gonna try extreme backspin. I'm pretty close to maximum power. That's way off on the timing. That's not far enough over. That's gonna roll backwards, but that's actually fine because this is a much better spot to hit the ball from than from the side because of the direction of the arrows. Okay, this one has been giving me troubles also because getting it onto the fairway in the first shot has been difficult. Almost am tempted to do a one wood, although I'm not sure if that's going to make it. Just for better control of the shot. That's better than going too late on the timing, or too early. And if I had shot harder, that probably would have gone off into the out-of-bounds. And again, if I hit this a little too strong, it's not going to... ...stay on the fairway. You stay on the fairway, yes. Okay, wind is now sort of against me. Yep, 
Is the four iron going to make it? Maybe. Oh, I think I might go up to the two iron. Sorry, three iron. Normal shot, question mark. Where is this going to go when it hits the green? It might roll right in. Hey, it did. Won that eagle. Okay, we have a strong crosswind here. <laughs> Thank you guys. Uh, I think this one is worth going extra topspin. I mean, there's not that many trees close to the out of bounds. See if I can get some extra distance on this. That's going to veer way off to the left. Way off to the left and behind a tree. I'm not that far behind the tree, but I'm also in deep rough. So I'm going to do a fast swing to get a little more power. I have the wind against me, so I don't think this is going to be reaching the green. That tree is uncomfortably close. Nudging over ever so slightly. I don't want to follow up an eagle with bonking a tree. Okay, that looks like it's out of trouble. <clears throat> what are the odds this is going to go sailing into that sand trap on the far side? Let's see if I can time this a little bit late. Get it to curl and hit the other tree. Is the tree in the way still? Thankfully, I'm on the other side of the tree. Still deep rough. I'm gonna guess a 9-iron. With this wind too, it's tricky. That's veering over quite a bit. Goodbye, green. All right, I'm going to quickly expend all my goodwill on the previous shot by not even hitting the green on this shot. Uh, I'm not quite sure where this thing's going to go. the power backspin. Oh, I didn't carry over more. All right. Got the bogey. <laughs> Hi there, Run Run Rosie. Thanks for joining in. Ooh. Okay. Um, good friendly wind here. I think I can hit this way and it should curl around. Not putting top spin on because I'm a little worried of where, the, where this is going. Super shots. That's gonna roll off the fairway. Okay, we've got, okay, we've got a bunker right in front of the green, so I don't wanna hit the short. This is going to be a challenge. There's light rough. I'm going to club up twice. There's uh, some nice wind. I'm going to backspin twice. And hopefully this gets over that bunker. A little far. And the roll is not going to Help me out much over there. Let's 
going to be a challenging chip in. Not far away, it's only 14 yards. Just going to do a quick shot and hope this goes in without any aiming. That was too much to hope for. Okay, at least I didn't land in the uh, sand trap. That would have been, I think, a much harder way to get onto the green. Okay, I'm gonna try to stay on the near fairway because I don't think I can make it to the far one. Relatively direct shot. And not great green situation with the slope there. Hit iron. I'm kind of going against the wind, so I think I might go up to a seven iron. Add a little backspin. It's a little underpowered. It's going to stay on the bad third set of arrows. <laughs> so... I'm just going to aim and hope. Not enough aim, not enough mustard. At least I'm getting a par. Fifty-five minus five. All right, US sixteen with a seven mile an hour crosswind. So, oh yeah, I probably should have been looking at my notes. Uh, so in general, I mean, just driving the ball, not using the three wood. The game will give you a three wood. You do not want the three wood. Uh, kind of messed up my aim there. Um, I'm not sure even if I want to do that much. I'm not sure if I should put backspin on this because the way the wind's going to carry it. I want to make sure it gets across. That is going in the water. On the far side. I can possibly chip this in for a par. That is a little weak. And I'm going across the arrows here, but these are the small arrows. And I should have aimed. <laughs> I was thinking they were not going to affect me that much. But I got a bogey. Double bogey. Correction. Alright. Friendly wind, because this is going to keep me in the fairway. Might as well put some top spin on this. Top spin didn't actually necessarily help me that much there. I've got a tailwind from this point, and the arrows are rolling against me. I think the three iron might be a little overpowered, but four iron. Is that going to make it there? 
I'm gonna think yes because it's eight miles per hour or meters per second or yards per hour or however you want to think of that. Don't roll off the green. Got the birdie. All right, we made it to 18. Met Susan once. I think I can avoid Susan here. I'm going to do a regular drive onto the fairway here. Hopefully not have a conversation with Marcel. That's a bit of a strong hook slash slice and I'm not even going to get onto the fairway. So now I'm going to aim over here. Hopefully not hit the Pac-Man sand trap. And hopefully just hop right over Marcel. Please stay on the fairway and don't roll off. Thank you. All right, we can probably make it over the lake here and <laughs> might see season again. I'm gonna go up to a three wood. Not sure if I should backspin this or not. I think I will. And then maybe just one more nudge up. That might be going out of bounds. Oh. At least I didn't see Susan. And even still, that was uh, kind of a not strong enough shot. Good time to pitch onto the green. There we go. It's a birdie. All right, US five under, pretty good compared to my previous scores. Uh, Would have been great if I didn't follow that eagle with a bogey and then later a double bogey, but oh well. Is Caddy impressed? Yes. So let's go into Japan course. Thank you for the claps. I'm glad Ren is loving it. Thank you. Challenges to continue to improve. All right, we have strong crosswind. Uh, this is kind of like the danger. I'm gonna go just vertical. Do I even wanna do a fast shot? Yes, might as well. No top spin because this might not go where I want it to go. That might be going right into that sand trap. Or not, because of the wind. Curling nicely around. Okay, wind is now maxed out. Approach shot with the nine iron. It's gonna catch a lot of air. Hopefully I've aimed over long enough, far enough. That's going to curve right around. Might be flying off the course, 
Off the green. Working with the headwind here. Need a nice little chip that rolls forward, hopefully. Not quite enough distance. Nudging right just a little bit for a par, hopefully, yes. Pull two. Uh, so this is not a lot of wind. I might be able to make it pretty far over there. But I'm not sure about that. I have a bad habit of either sending this off the fairway or going into that sand trap. Hopefully this does not go in the river. Okay, just making it onto the fairway. Okay, we've got the green rolling to the left, wind going to the right. A nine iron. I'm gonna try putting no spin on this. Actually, maybe a little top spin. Hi there, Wolfmaster. Thank you for the good luck. And if uh, my luck holds, maybe this will roll into the hole. Okay, glad I put top spin on. It's not gonna get past these arrows though. Should hit a little stronger. Ringed it in. All right, we have this extremely narrow fairway. Now, pretty much every time I've played this hole, I've ended up in the rough somewhere, so I'm going to try my best to stay in the fairway. I'm kind of aiming towards that second top tree there. Hopefully the wind doesn't carry this too much. Please don't end up in the rough, it's going in the rough. So I'm going to now shoot again over to the fairway. Not with as far as I could go, but just a comfortable... Get it into the sweet spot there of the fairway. Even that might have been too much club. So now I am 140 yards out. Slight crosswind. I don't want to under hit this, so I'm going to go up one. Try the double backspin method. What does this green look like? See how this goes. Probably not going to roll back that much. That rolled more than I thought it would. I've avoided the stronger arrows. Might have overhit that. Yes, I did. Got the par. Okay, yeah, at least I read the arrows correctly, just didn't give it enough juice. Okay, strong headwind. 
forward. Can this make it on there? It's gonna curl over to the right. Probably should have put some backspin on there. I was thinking it was gonna land short with that wind. Got an extreme putt here. Went the wrong direction on reading the arrows there. Not enough juice. <laughs> the oats sound delightful. I'm guessing the oats are on the menu. Please go in, thank you. Okay, Japan number five. Should be able to just blast it right up the fairway here. Avoid the trees. Um, the downside here is the dangerous near bunker. Six iron. The six iron going to make it. I think I might need to go to a five iron. The problem is the shorter the club, the more the wind is gonna affect it. So I'm gonna overhead this and give it double backspin. Just to make sure I don't land in that sand trap. It's not going to go in the hole, but it'll be very good position. Directly against the arrows. It's the power of backspin. All right, extreme headwind. Thank you, Eric. Five iron. Not friendly green. I'm just gonna hit this normally. Not sure if I should put backspin on this or not, especially because the wind's gonna, in theory, catch it. Not sure how much back or top spin the five iron shot's gonna naturally have. Moving over more than I realized it would. This is decent position. Directly against both the wind and the slope. I am going to nudge it to the left ever so slightly. I don't think that's going to be strong enough. No, it was not. Get in the par. Pan 7, another one that has been a very big challenge for me to land in the fairway or avoid the beans, three bean salad. I'm going to just try to hit it right up over these trees. Hope that makes it. Hope it doesn't end up too far behind this other tree. So wind is five, green is crazy. What is this shot looking like? Am I behind the tree? I am away from the tree. There are trees along the way. I nudged it to the left ever so slightly.
James suggests a one wood, which I think will be fine with this much tailwind. No spin, because this should pick up quite a bit of spin naturally. Pretty direct shot. That is not going to go to the green. I'm gonna hit that tree. So if I had aimed left a little bit more, I might have got past that tree. Gonna check my tree here. I'm not behind the tree. Another 60 yards or so. The wind is going to catch this. And give this a little top spin. Alright, I do have some nasty diagonal arrows to contend with here. Nope. A little too much mustard, a little too much aiming. But still have a bar. All right, we have the dog leg and extreme headwind. Gonna try hitting this straight up the middle. And I will try giving this some top spin. Kind of counteract that headwind. That might go veering off to the right. I'm regretting the top spin. Now I have extreme side wind. Even though, I mean, even if I switch to a two iron versus a one wood, I don't think it's going to matter a whole lot from the rough. I don't think I'm necessarily going to get much more distance from the uh, one wood. Just as long as I don't go into the bunker or the out of bounds or the rough. I don't know why I did that. I was still on a fast swing. <laughs> Not paying attention. Okay, we have Deep rough. Extreme headwind. Don't know if this is even going to make it, so I'm not putting any spin on this. Thank you for going in. Get in the bar. All right, another challenge hole. Uh, frequently ending up either in the out of bounds or the sand or rolling off into the rough. Very rarely am I ever making the fairway on this. I'm gonna try aiming for the tree up there. Normal shot, normal swing. That is going in the rough. Hopefully not the out of bounds. Okay, it ended up in a sand trap. Uh, I'm going to aim way over here and just hit out of the sand trap. This is a decent position. Okay-ish wind. It's going to be quite the tailwind. I'm going to hope this is sailing and put some heavy backspin on it. Is that going to make it to the green? 
Gonna roll off the green, but maybe, oh, please don't make me chip shoot this in. Can I put this in? Because, well, maybe I shouldn't do that. Slow pitch, very short. Very short, very short. And I'm getting a bogey. Yeah, it could have been way worse. I was so close to getting out of bounds. At least I got the sand trap and kind of kept the momentum going. Okay, I'm going to try hitting right up here. That might veer off a little bit. Not too bad. Uh, I got some not so great arrow action here. Let's look at that again. Right to left and then rolling away. No wind. Maybe like a three quarters power. Oh, it hit the pole. Could have been an eagle. Got the birdie. Seems I, <clears throat> my Hall of Fame is littered with shots where the ball is bouncing off the flagpole. Okay, fast. Should be able to get over this river. I don't think that wind's going to be too much of a problem. That is not strong enough to make it over. Alright, this is awful, <laughs> but... Even a two iron here. There are some trees. I'm gonna try to hit over these. Hopefully not bounce back into the water. Alright. <laughs> Sweating bolts there. Now all I need to do is chip this in for a uh, par, which I'm sure will be... Tricky. I'm gonna look at that green again. It's gonna roll to the right. I mean, from the right to the left. Close. Got a bogey? Okay, number 12. Uh, wind is going to carry this a bit. Going to aim to the left. Hoping to not go sailing into the rough or the sand trap. Avoiding spin. That's sailing into the sand trap, I can tell. Or not. Please stop in the rough. Nope, it's going into the sand. Aim left just a little bit, and then max power this. OK, 
Okay, now we have an angle I have not been shooting from before very much. It's a sand trap on the near side, sand trap on the far side, crosswind. Again, to hope that the wind slows this down enough. No backspin. Or should I? Maybe a little because it's the five iron. It's going to catch into the wind a little bit. All right, we got a long birdie putt here. Not even close. Oh no, I put it into the bunker. Uh, alrighty then. Hey there, crash. Well, somebody should have been practicing a little bit more. Uh, this is a. Oh, this is so bad because this is such a short uh, shot in the bunker. Oh, okay, I'm understanding the Widowmaker. Hey there, Hungry Goria. Thank you for the good luck. I'm going to be needing it on this hole for sure. Hope your day's treating you well. There is absolutely no way I can underhit this because it'll just stay in the bunker. So what are my options for aiming? Is it better to be over here? I'm going to have to give this like 50% power or something. Please don't go into the other bunker. Thank you. All right. <laughs> okay, summoning up all the good luck. Probably should have given that some top spin and it would have actually rolled in, probably. Or aimed it better. What was this, triple bogey? Double bogey. Alright, I've never, I don't think I've ever played that hole so badly. <laughs> okay, we got left to right wind, six iron. What could possibly go wrong? This is a little bit of headwind, so I'm gonna give it a little top spin. Yeah, I, experience taught me that I should not attempt to underhit from a bunker. It's going to veer off to the right more than I thought it would. I could have used even more spin, I think, because I now have to hit across these arrows. They did not travel as much as I thought they would. Could have gotten a birdie there. All right, pay our respects to Chip. The benefit of this is I have some tailwind. So I think I should be able to get over here, no problem. Don't really care if this goes into the sand. It's looking good. Stayed in the rough. Now the pin is awkwardly placed on the far side where the arrows go right to left.
This should catch some wind. Kind of give it some backspin. The question is how much of the deep rough, hi there, extra metrica. How much of the deep rough is going to shorten this? So I think I'm going to get do basically full power. All right, so that's not so bad. Is this going to be a direct putt for birdie? Okay, made it back to even. Okay, we've got the hourglass here with headwind. I'm going to stick with... No. I'm going to do a fast drive, and hopefully this doesn't get caught by the wind as much. And here's to hoping I time it well. Am I going to get over the tree, please? Is it going to get on the fairway? Of course not. Should have given that some top spin. Arrows all over the place. Uh, not sure about that. Two iron. I'm in the light rough, but there is wind against me. Maybe a touch of topspin. Okay, made it onto just a single set of arrows. Got it in there with a birdie. All right, Japan 16, uh, another awful hole. Stream headwind. Two iron. I don't think the two iron is going to make it there. Four wood might make it there. The problem is this wind. And the lack of landing space for any kind of a shot. That's going to curve into the lake. Nope. Probably should have backspin that, but I figured it was going to hit the ground before. And I wanted the extra speed. This is not so bad. And going to nudge it to the left a little bit. Maybe a little top spin even. Going to be another short shot. Not quite. Overhit. Please let me get a par out of this, please. Please. No. Nope. Not gonna get it. <laughs> Needed a little more mustard. Back to even. At least I was not in the water. Alright, uh... Can I make it over here? I think I can. I am looking at the wrong set of notes. Japan. So if I drive over here, I think I will be fine. Famous last words, no top spin. That's gonna curve quite a bit. Please don't go out of bounds. Please don't, please don't. Oh, just past K 
can't get any closer to that without going out of bounds. If I would put any top spin on that, that would have been a toad for sure. I am in the deep rough. I can't get there with a three iron. Maybe a two iron. Gonna be wildly inaccurate shots. Not gonna put any spin on this. Okay, I've got a mess of arrows here. Just missing the aim there. Backspin probably would help there. Alright, staying even into the here. Alright. Thank you for the uh, applause there. Uh, I have not done great on this area. And granted, this is a tailwind. I forget how you look at the other part of the course on this. I wanna, oh, there we go. It scrolls opposite the way you think it would. Uh, I am debating whether I should go over Turd Lake or not. Uh, might as well give it a shot. Please end up on the fairway. Thank you. Okay, so now I have Tailwind. 298 is not strong enough to make it there. What are the odds this is going to land on the bunker? Is it better to go short? Because there's no way this is going to reach the green. Better to go short over here. I am veering off into the rough on the far side instead of staying on the fairway like I intended. Well, so much for that plan. Uh, we are now in the deep rough. Gonna have to hit this with some gusto. All right, not enough gusto. <laughs> Please let me get onto the green with this shot because the putting from here is going to be awful. Let's try hitting this a little strong. All right, we have one, two, three, four different arrows to contend with. Assuming any of this is not flat ground. Nope, not even close. Finishing with a bogey. All right, so despite getting over the turd pond, the second shot going into the rough was awful. Definitely sweating up a storm here. Yeah, Japan is tough, but it used to be 
I used to have more trouble with US than I did with Japan, so I'm not quite sure what has changed. And I'm sure Caddy Guy's disappointed. Yes, disappointing score. Thank you for your useful advice. Now we are going to the UK. Which unfortunately is something that I should be able to score well on, but I've not been doing that great on in practice. Tea time in the UK. Uh, is this wind going to push this over enough? I'm going to try not adjusting this because I am concerned about that sand trap. That might go into the sand trap, or not. It's going to curl around. <clears throat> All right, we've got slight cross headwind. Somewhat friendly green. Seven iron, maybe. I think I'm actually going to go up to the 6 iron and overhit this a little bit. Nope, that's going to roll away. Didn't quite roll the way I thought it was going to go. Just missing the birdie putt. Let me get my notes up here. Ah, uh, there's no way I'm getting over into the left fairway, so might as well hit to the right fairway. No top spin because it's just going to roll it farther away from the hole. Not necessarily helpful. Pretty good placement here. Wind has picked up. Seven iron. I don't think you're going to make it move to a six iron. Give it a little backspin. Not, also not hit from this angle before, not putted from here. Let's hope this goes in. A little strong, a little strong. Oh, this is not great. Extreme wind. Just gonna try to get this onto the fairway over there. Hopefully not hitting any of these trees. That's gonna occur a whole lot. Please stay on the fairway. All right. <laughs> Getting nervous there. So, clearly not getting across the lake, but I can perhaps do a fairway shot up here. Please also stay on the fairway. Alright, now dealing with the tailwind. And the green rolling away. It's 
Ball is going to be flying in at top speed. Give it a little backspin. It's rolling uphill somehow, mystery spot. Please go in for a birdie. Thank you. Uh, of course there's nine miles an hour on a green, on a three, par three. Uh, four wood. Or two iron. With a little top spin. Getting pretty close there. And I should not have aimed over. I was worried about the angle versus the arrow. Could have been a birdie. All right, UK five. This is tricky because there's this line of trees it's a narrow fairway. Don't want to be behind the trees. The fairway. Uh, I will aim over a little more. That might stay on the fairway, but it might put me right behind the tree or not. Glad I did not do a fast shot. Get the green funneling ball towards the top. A little bit of crosswind. do one top spin. I was thinking of going one club up. I think this is going to be short. Maybe I should check the green first. Let's try to hit this. I'm going to veer over quite a bit more than I wanted it to. From here... It's going to be rolling away. Do another short pitch in. Not maximum short, but something like that. Barely making it onto the green. Please go in for a par. Not enough. Nope, not enough. Getting the bogey. Back to even. Okay, we got Mario here. Should be able to get across the lake. Pretty good position. Wind... Not too bad against me. The green here is awful. It's a stairway to hell. Fifty eight yards. No spin. 
Might be a little strong. Or not. It's barely going to get on the green. Okay, we've got strong arrows here. Please go in. Nope, not strong enough. Get in the bar. Lisa didn't go for a swim. Okay. I do kind of want to aim towards this tree. See if I can get this really far up there and avoid all the junk on the near side of the course. That's possibly going into a sand trap. Is it going to cut the corner? Didn't quite make it to the fairway. I'm in deep rough. I have a feeling this will bounce before it hits the green, so I'm not going to put any spin on it. Just in case it sails and hits the far end of the, the green. Probably should have put some top spin on that. Did not catch the wind as much as I thought it would. Another short hut, short pitch. And aimed past it. So, decision time. Are these arrows going to affect my putt? I think they will. Nudged it very slightly. Thankful I did that. Get in the bar. About time I get some scoring in here. Right to left wind. I'm going to stick with the three iron. No spin. Yeah, clown hole. I think it kind of reminds me of Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy. See if we can get this to roll in there. Not quite. So some arrows right to left. Not correcting enough for the arrows. Could have been a birdie. Staying even. Hole number nine. We've got potholes on the course. See if I can get this far into the center. Because there is not much wind. Please don't go into that other sand trap. It went into the rough. Please don't get in the sand. Thank you. That's fine. I'm going to hit over this one. And lay up short. Please go over the other sand trap. Thank you. I kind of under hit that. All right, let's avoid the brazier. Problem is there is not a lot of room from this angle. Slight tailwind. Give this some double backspin and see how it goes. Please go up, 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 up. There we go. All right, <laughs> another moment of truth. Should I adjust for this aim? I will not. 
Thankfully, I did not adjust my aim. Feels good, birdie. Getting to... Okay. Back to the future hole, Twin Pines. Thank you for the GG's. Just gonna try to shoot this and get over those trees if I can. That is going to veer way off course. Or not. Thank you, wind. Please don't go in the river. Okay, we've got the awful arrows of doom. I'm aiming to the right just a little bit. Giving this some top spin so hopefully it rolls past the arrows. Oh, almost rolled in and it's going downhill. Got the birdie. We have headwind. I'm going to do a normal drive. Hopefully stay in control and get over the water here. Normal drive. It's a little off course. The wind has stayed at five miles an hour. So I'm going to club up twice and overhit this because I don't want to hit the river. I do not want to hit the sand trap. Okay, we have a long putt here for birdie. A little too powerful. That's a shame. Man, that's like three on this course, I think, that I've overhead just a little bit. All right, another happy smiling face here. Uh, I don't trust this one bit. See if I can aim for the nose. 170, 150 is not going to make it. Let's go for the six iron. What is this wind going to do? Let's take another look at that green. Debating whether I want to do double backspin. Let's just do the one backspin. That is poorly timed. Please get over the water. Please don't roll back into the water. <laughs> Thank you. Now another short chip in. Just, oh, whoa, okay. <laughs> Not sure what happened with the green there, but it like severely changed direction, which I'm happy about. Okay, we've got extreme wind here. For this first shot, because the wind is so strong, I'm just going to do a normal drive. Hopefully stay in control. I know the fast shot would get me more distance, but I think it's more important to get onto the fairway here and then 
I can go for some a little extra distance here. And hopefully time this right. Not bad. Light rough. Uh scary green. Right to left wind. I'm gonna give this some um, top spin and like 50% power. Keep rolling, keep rolling, keep going. Nope. Didn't quite make it. I got a birdie. Okay, the birdies are actually happening now. Wish they had happened earlier. Uh, the bent sausage. I'm gonna try to hit this over. That wind. I feel like I should give this a little top spin. What are these trees looking like? That is going to curve way too far. Please keep going, please keep going, please keep going, please, 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 please. nope. Toted. All right, let's try that again. Moving over ever so slightly. I was so close to making it. That's a much better time shot. Probably going to roll off into the rough. Uh, that's what I get for trying to cut the corner. I've got serious tailwind here. The wind should catch this quite a bit and a double backspin it. Gonna roll off. This is not going to make it. Should have put more mustard on it. <laughs> Getting a double bogey here, ain't I? All right. Well, there goes those birdies. Just a little more power. All right. We have more potholes. I'm going to try just a normal drive up here to stay in control. Maybe a little top spin in case I go wandering into the rough. Oh, please don't toad me. Yes, I'm getting toaded. <laughs> God. All right, yes, yes, yes. I toad by toad. All right, all bets are off. Let's just shoot this full power. That's what I should have done the first time. Trust in the fast drive. Okay, we got. Five mile an hour headwind. This will catch the ball. I'm gonna go up to a nine iron and add some backspin. That's way too strong. Is it gonna roll? Gonna roll way off the course. Now I just need to sink this extremely difficult putt. Not even close. <laughs> that might be too strong. Oh, thank God. Double bogey back down to even. 
Okay, 16. Here we go. All right. Let's try staying in the fairway. We've got some wind. No spin. Not a super shot. All right, seven miles an hour. I might be able to hit through these gold posts. Wind will be slightly against me. Going to try for it. It's pretty decently hit. It's going to avoid the sand trap. Thank goodness. This is light rough. I'm not sure what this is going to do. No, I don't want a sandwich. It is pitching wedge. Okay. Just short there. Didn't veer. I used the wrong way to aim, I think. Get in the par. All right, let's finish strong. See if we can get some birdies. Probably not on this hole. I've had trouble with this one. This is going to be... Oh, no, 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 don't interrupt play. Checking the green. Awful pin placement. I think this is just going to barely make it onto the green. That is going to be veering off course. Let's look at where I am. I'm just off the green. Gonna nudge right a bit. Another very short shot. Probably could have give that a little more juice. I'm now putting across the arrows. Keeping the par. All right, please. We have friendly wind. Let's give this a good strong hit. That's not strong enough. It's going to go right towards that tree. Hey there, Beauty and Discovery. <laughs> uh, light rough. I don't think I can make it over there. So I'm going to lay up over here. Hopefully stay on the fairway. Okay, we've got... Not great green. No wind. Nudging to the left just a little bit. This is dangerous because I am... going to overhit this a little bit. 
do some double backspin and see what happens. Please roll back into the hole. Nope. <laughs> Single backspin might have made it. All right, for par. God. Nope, bogey. If I can hopefully get a bogey off of this. Man, not great. Plus one for UK. So there we go. Minus five US, plus one Japan, plus one UK, minus three overall. If my math is right. <laughs> Uh, really could have done much better on the UK. So many birdie chances missed. Overhit. Badly aimed. And I'm sure Caddy Guy is very interested in how poorly I performed here. Thank you for the GG's and claps, everyone. Oh, keep up the good work. <laughs> Yeah, that would be awesome to have uh, more ties. Sorry to have pushed people off the leaderboard. <laughs> Thanks, like, just a guy. Let's head on over to Raid and see how they... Raid on over to the Renaissance and see how the rest of the competition is going. 